Ladies and gentlemen, winter is coming to Once Human, and I'm warming up with a nice amount of guides to prepare you for its official release very soon. We've already checked out the harsh weather and blueprints, how to survive, and also cleared another new silo called Taurus. Today, we're gonna literally rock our way through Securement Silo Delta, another new dungeon with a pretty epic boss fight at the end, one which can be pretty tricky on higher difficulties. I'm gonna share everything you need to know about it, from the location and how to run through the dungeon to the boss fight and the possible rewards. So let's get right to it. Again, a quick thanks to Starry Studio for giving me early access to the Way of Winter update on a test server. I wanna let you guys know that this is not the final build, so things can change, while I think majority right here is gonna be accurate with the full release. Securement Silo Delta can be found pretty early in the zone already. The nice thing is, recommended level is only 10 on normal difficulty, so I'd say check it out ASAP, as it comes with a ton of rewards, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but if we zoom out, well, you'll be able to find it east of the Securement Silo X1, far eastern part of the world, let's say. All right, so here we are at the entrance of Securement Silo Delta. As usual, you'll be able to find T-Man right in front of it, talk with a guy to pick up a new bounty, and then make your way inside. There we have it, Securement Silo Delta. We're gonna do this dungeon on hard difficulty today. You can also do it on normal for purple shoe and glove mods, while on hard and pro, the rewards are gonna be legendary, including that sweet Eclipse Cortex of level three. Like I shared in my previous silo video, I only have calibrations up to level two on my weapons and none on the armor. So I think this is gonna be a nice difficulty to check out today. So here we go. The first thing we're gonna have to do is break past the vultures and enter the depths. You will instantly find a sweet wall of fire with bodyguard behind it. You can roll underneath these fire barricades, by the way. But what you want to do is go downstairs and basically take care of all the bad guys you see right here. I think a sniper rifle is going to be amazing for it. Can quickly make short work of them. There we go. We've got another one up there. And another one. <laughs> Let's go. After you've taken care of the first wave, you're going to have some elites popping up. The Vulture Rampage Garden right here, which we've also seen in the other silo. I think the best way to deal with those is to simply vault away and be careful for the lava they throw on the floor. Funny thing is, you can also shoot down the big guy hanging from the ceiling. In this current version, unfortunately, he doesn't drop any loot for me, but still definitely worth a try if it's there on the full release. I think the easiest way to deal with the fire blockades after that is by simply jumping over them and make sure to click your fingers every now and then to double check for treasure in the area. I already picked up everything, but I'm not really sure you'll be able to find a gear chest right here. This is where we have a nice vulture underground disco, let's say, with plenty more bad guys to deal with. And yet there is going to be one more elite. First take care of the ads and then aim for the head, which he exposes quite a lot actually. Wait a second, we've got another one right here. You could also aim for the gun to the left if he's blocking everything. When you've taken care of him, a lot more vultures will run inside, which you want to deal with as quick as possible. Then you can interact with the pedal right here to remove the blockade. Not sure why there's fire coming out of the walls, but once again, be careful for the blockades right here. We have to deal with just a couple more bad guys right here. Always aim for the hat, in my opinion, works best against these. And look at the stage. Nice. Wait, 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 this is hot. Oh yes, this is exactly where we want to be. The boss fight. If you stand at the drums, this is how you can trigger it. In the beginning, it seems like he's pretty passive and it's going to be easy to take him out. But trust me, you want to be careful for those big drum hands as they can start drumming on the floor and they can basically one tap you. Also roll away when you see that line coming out of his guitar. Sometimes he just jams it and that will cast a spell that can snare you on the floor so you won't be able to move. Pretty tricky in combination with the drums themselves. He's going really ham right now. So are we. 
Here he comes. So after you've taken away a couple of those HP bars, he will engage combat. I'm gonna be honest, he is pretty slow. Attacks are easy to dodge, while you want to stay away from those areas of effects. I still haven't figured out yet how you can 100% avoid these. Sometimes he will also use a flamethrower coming out of his fist. Be careful for that. Also the axes he throws every now and then. But as long as you keep rolling, it's fine. The visuals aren't very noticeable, but you will see a circle expanding in the middle, basically. And when it reaches the borders, well, that's the BAM one shot. Funny thing is, though, when I figured out you can actually climb on top of the other drums on the sides, well, this is where you want to stand when that happens. If you climb on top, you will be safe. But as you can see right here, the drum in the far back was also impacted when I was standing on the one in the left. Also, if you're standing on the higher levels, the boss is throwing a lot of stuff at you because it seems like he won't be able to climb on top of it. Still though, I think this is the best way to take him out. Simply hop from one drum to the next, aim for the head, and you should be able to take care of him in not too much time. Voila, disciplinary action notice quest complete. And as you can see, the boss also dropped a H37 deviation, which we can pick up right now. Oh, nice feel right there. But here we go. We've got uh, the treasure chest as well. Let's control it. This one comes with specialization fragments, mods, and so much more. GG. You know what? Let's quickly speed run our way through this silo a couple more times on normal, see which new deviation we can get our hands on. Check it out, that's another H37. Ah, look at that. This time we got our hands on a strange door. So it seems like you can get your hands on different deviations during this battle. And even the logging beaver, let's go. Check it out, we found the H37 multiple times. Also the strange door, skill and activity rating of four, logging beaver two and three. But of course, you'll be able to pick up plenty of gear mods right here as well. So an interesting dungeon to farm for a whole lot of different things. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Securement Silo Delta. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. If you have more questions or video suggestions for the Way of Winter updates, don't hesitate to leave them right there as well. Join the Discord to stay the loop with channel updates and everything else. Right now, though, it's Forium out. I want to wish you an amazing day. I'll check you in the next video. Take care. Peace.